Welcome back to your favorite intermediate algebra course. We're going to talk about parabolas in a little bit more detail today. Uh, we're going to graph and write some equations of, of parabolas. Um, now we've kind of dealt with some parabolas before when they had vertical axis um, of symmetry, like y equals x squared, you know. Um, but now we're going to look at it in not only if you have a vertical axis of symmetry, but also if your uh, axis of symmetry is, is horizontal. Okay, so let's look at some characteristics of parabolas. First of all, there's uh, here's a little vocabulary for you. The focus here, if you can see, the focus lies on the axis of symmetry. Okay, this focus, and you have this focus is exactly the the same distance. Every point on the let's say this right. Every point on this parabola. Let's say I take this point on the parabola. Okay. It is the exact same distance back to a focus as it is to what's called the directrix. Okay, and this directrix, this blue line here, that's perpendicular to your axis of symmetry. Okay, so if you take like the point, the vertex point right here, so you know how you got this, do this vertex. In. Okay, so let's take our vertex. You notice that. It is the exact same distance back to the focus, so that distance, let's call it a distance of three or whatever, is the exact same distance to the, your directrix line, that blue line there, okay? And your directrix is simply perpendicular to your axis of symmetry, okay? So your vertex point's halfway between the focus, focus and the directrix, okay? Now, you have uh, four situations for our parabolas, okay? You could either, the, to the top two there, you're either going to have it open up or down, and the equations are going to be of that form, x squared equals 4py. And if your p is positive, it opens up, okay? Whereas over here, you got x squared equals 4py, but your p is negative, so that thing is going to open down, okay? And then you also have some where they could open right or left. Okay, but they're of a different form there. Y squared equals 4px is the form of the equation. Okay, so let's look at some, an example here and kind of look at uh, how we would go about uh, a problem. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot one last thing on this. Your standard equations of a problem, we're going to revert back to this quite often, okay? This, these pictures and how we're going to go about it. Okay, so if you have the equation, you know how the top two were of this form, x squared equals 4py? Well, your focus point, if you can identify your p in the equation, your focus will be at that point 0p. And your directrix will be the equation y equals negative p. And, of course, your axis of symmetry will be vertical, and it'll be x equals 0. Okay? And then for the bottom two, you know, if you open right or left, it'll be... You know, P0 will be your focus and so on. Okay, so we'll we'll come back to this page quite a bit. Let's do a problem here. So we're going to identify the focus and the directrix of the parabola. By x equals 4y squared. And then we're going to go ahead and draw the parabola as well. All right, so x equals 4y squared. So let's look at this from x equals 4y squared. The first thing I look at when I'm doing these is I say, well, you notice how you have a y squared. Which variable is squared? I say, well, the y squared. The y variable is the one that's square. So let's go back up here. So I say, is it going to be a situation where I have the top two or the bottom two? I say, well, I had my y squared. All right, so it's got to be either this one or this one. Okay, so I'm going to immediately write y squared equals 4px so that I can identify my p. y squared equals 4px. Okay. Go back to this. Okay, y squared this in mind, y squared equals 4px. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to solve this for y squared, okay, just like there in red. So solve, solve for y squared here. Okay, so x equals 4y squared, divide both sides by 4, 
uh, one fourth x is your y squared. In other words, y squared is one fourth x. Okay, and you're thinking, well, how does this help us? Let me write the general form right below it. Y squared equals four p x. Okay. Well, I want to identify my p here. Okay. So look at this. You see this coefficient of x here is one fourth. So in my equation, one fourth must be equal to four p. You see that? So now, if I know one fourth equals four p, I know what my p has to be. Okay, so I'm solving for my p. Divide by four, divide by four. So one sixteenth, that's my p. Okay, now this is important because my p is positive. So I know, going back to this picture, First of all, I know it was the bottom two because I had y squared in the equation. And now I know my p is positive. So this thing opens up, you know, opens up to the right. Okay, so let me go back to it. So this thing opens, opens to the right. Okay. Opens up to the right. So it looks just like that right there, and you can, if you want, you can, you know, do a little picture. You're like, okay, I gotta keep that in mind. It opens up to the right. So we solve for p. That's how you're gonna find your p. And now this is important also because your p is your giveaway for your focus. So let's go back to this. Go down. I say, okay, I'm looking at this line right here. A y squared equals 4px. My focus would be p0. Okay, my focus is p0. So 1 16th comma 0. So I know this thing, okay, if this is 1, at 1 16th, I'm only a 16th of the way there, and this thing is going to wrap around, it's going to like wrap around that focus, if you will. Okay. And the directrix is going to be x equals that. So we right here. x equals that negative p. That's your directrix for this. Okay. And your axis of symmetry is y equals 0. Okay. So directrix x equals negative p. Let me go back to this. Directrix. See there, x equals negative p. X equals negative one sixteenth. So let's put the directrix on there. So if that's negative one, x equals negative one sixteenth. Remember our vertex on this. You know the vertex right there on the parabola, that center point on the parabola, if you will, is halfway between the focus halfway between my focus which is 1 16th 0 and my directrix in green x equals negative 1 16th my my vertex is right halfway between those okay okay so so far we got our just what they asked for the focus and the directrix okay now we want to draw so i don't know how if my shape on this parabola is good or not so we're gonna have to like plug some points in Okay, so just, just make a table. This is step three here. Step three. Now my equation was uh, y squared equals, or am I at? One fourth x, okay? Y squared equals, equals, sorry, one fourth x. Okay, we're gonna plug in some x values. Let's plug in zero. Y squared equals one fourth times zero. Y squared equals zero. Square root, square root. Makes no difference. Y is zero. So there's our there's our first point zero zero. Let's plug in one. Y squared equals one fourth times one. Y squared is a fourth. Square root. Y equals plus or minus one over two. Okay. So at one, I got plus or minus a half. I got both the positive a half and I got the negative a half. Okay. So I'm over one. But I'm only up halfway. So I'm like way off on this here. So one comma half, one comma negative a half. Okay. 
Next one to plug in would be probably pretty nice. I'm going to plug in four on this. Okay, let me erase this. If I plug in four, I get a one. That's square root. Plus or minus one. So one. I get a four, two, three, four. And I got one, four, and I got negative one. So now I got some points here. I can kind of draw this a little better than I originally did. And I go from my okay, kind of like that there. All right, and that's what this thing looks like. So that's it's approaching a parabola here. Okay, let me do another one. Same, same instructions, identify the focus and directrix of the parabola and then graph, except this time I'm going to have x squared equals negative 16y. Can I identify focus, parabola, draw the thing, okay? So first thing is I look, I look at the x squared, okay? So I look at the variable squared, and I'm like, well, it's the x squared, right? So this thing... This thing is going to open up or down or right or left. I say, oh, it's got to be this one, right? Either that one or that one. Okay, so it's going to open up or down depending on P. Okay, so x squared equals 4PY. That's what I'm going to write. So I can then go ahead and identify my P. Okay, so I'm thinking x squared equals 4PY. Now, usually I would solve for x squared in my blue equation here, but I don't need to solve for x squared here. So that's that's kind of nice. Okay. And now I say, well, 4p must be equal to the stuff in front of the y must be equal to negative 16. 4p must be equal to negative 16 divided by 4. P is negative 4. So p is negative. That means this thing is going to open down. Right? So you got your p is negative. If you go back to this. You see how I'm looking right there? See how your P is negative there? Okay, and you notice your focus is at 0P. In fact, this says it all right here, doesn't it? Focus is at 0P. Directrix Y equals negative P. Okay, here we go. So focus is at 0P. So our focus here would be at 0 and our P was negative 4. Okay, there's our focus. There's our focus. In fact, I'll, draw, I'll start drawing it right now. 0, negative 4. Okay. Now, this thing is going to wrap around the focus. Okay. So it's going to look something like that. It wraps around the focus. Opens down. Remember we said it opens down. Number 3, our directrix from that little cheat sheet, cheat sheet is y equals negative p. So y equals negative, our p was negative 4. So y equals 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, there's, our, there's our directrix. Oops, I missed it. y equals 4. Okay. Now the question is, is my parabola drawn very well or not? Who knows? But we got to plug some points in to figure that out, don't we? So x squared equals negative 16y, or uh, no, I'm going to switch this around. Negative 16y equals x squared, y equals uh, x squared, negative x squared over 16. So I just divide both sides by that negative 16. So I'm going to do it that way. Okay, let's plug some points in. Let's plug in 0. 0 squared over 16, 0. So we know we got this point, 0, 0, right? Let's plug in 1. We got negative, we got the 1 squared over 16, so 1 squared 1, apply the negative in front, so negative 1 over 16. I plug in negative 1, and guess what? I get the same thing. So 1 over 1, but I'm only down a 16th of the way. Let me erase my old parabola here. So I'm over 
one, but I'm only down just a bit. Same thing in negative one. I'm only down just a bit, a sixteenth of the way down. Okay. Next one I'm going to plug in. This should work out real nice. It'd be four. So I know four squared is sixteen. So I'm going to plug in, extend this a little bit. Four and then negative four. So y equals negative four squared. 16, that's a negative 16 over 16, negative 1. So 4, negative 1. Okay. Negative 4 is going to kick out the same thing, isn't it? Negative 1. You can see that that's pretty, it's got a, quite a horizontal shrink there, if you will. Okay, well, that's it. And this is your focus, right? There's your focus. 0, negative 4. Here's your directrix. Y equals 4. Okay. And again, every point on this thing, like if I was to take this point, if I go straight back to the directrix, that is the exact same distance as it is right there. Okay. Any point on the parabola I can do that for. All right. So. All right, now I've got another problem for you here. Let's move on. Let's see if we can write an equation of the parabola. All right, so we're looking at that picture there to the right. Write an equation of that parabola. Now you notice the first thing I'm looking at is I'm like, well, the vertex is right in the right in the center. Okay, all of these are going to be in the center that we're working with in this section. Okay, we're not going to move that around. The directrix, if you notice, the directrix is y equals. It looks like that's one. Okay, you guys see that y equals one right there? There's your directrix. Y equals one. Okay. This thing opens down. Now you remember this vertex, that distance back to the directrix is the exact same distance as it is to the focus. So you know your focus has got to be right there. Okay, so zero, negative one. Focus, zero, negative one. Okay, and this thing opens down. This thing opens down. So if you're looking back at your cheat sheet, you're like, oh, okay. This thing opens down, so I'm looking at this one right here. x squared equals 4py. p has got to be negative. Okay, x squared equals 4py. p ends up being negative. Let me write this in the problem here. And your p is negative. Now, it said your focus is 0, comma p. So what's your p? Oh, my p has got to be that negative 1. Okay, so you identify, hey, P's got to be negative 1. That's going to help me out here, all right? My focus P is negative 1. Of course, your directrix was Y equals negative P, which makes sense because Y equals negative, negative 1 is Y equals 1, okay? Now, let's write the equation for it. So, if P is negative 1, which we stole from the focus, now let's write the equation. X squared equals 4PY, P is negative 1 x squared equals negative 4y. There's an equation for that parabola that opens down. So what you want to look at your directrix right away. Identify where the focus would be at. Write the equation for if it opens you know, up, down, or left, right. Take the focus and identify the p. Once you have the p, you can write the equation. All right? Bring your questions, you guys. I'll see you in class.